fallacy of composition is this. Suppose there's a fire in the office, and I, individually and singularly, I rush for the door. And if nobody else is doing the same, I'll get out just fine. Now, suppose that everybody at the same time is rushing for the door. We all get there at the same time, we log jam, and we can't get out. That is fallacy of composition. It means that what is good for one part or one uh, bit is not necessarily the same for the whole. So one result you get from a small group or one actor may be completely different when the entire group does the same thing. Another example in economics, uh, in an advanced country where you have a high degree of social services, for one family or one woman, if you have more and more kids, is that like savings or spending? Well, if you think about it, you're gonna spend a lot of money, and in advanced countries, when you get old, the kids visit at Christmas, they visit at holidays, and they ask for money. They're not providing a return. So to the individual, it is like spending. But to a society, if all of the society's women have more and more kids, Sure, they have to spend on education, and sure, they have to take care of those kids as they grow up. But once they reach a certain age, they start participating in the economy. They start working, being productive, paying taxes. And so if the society's women as a whole are having more kids, it is like societal savings because as they're having kids, those children are like savings for the future. And so, again, fallacy of composition. What is true for one family or one woman is not the same for an entire society.